Hello ladies and gentlemen. I bet some of you thought I was killed by the Megatron variant, but I'm still alive and kicking. In this video I'll demonstrate how to provide instant image preview that you can give your users in any upload applications. There may be an occasion where you want to allow the user to see or manipulate the object before it is uploaded to your server. And before we lay out and explain the code, we'll take a look at the finished basic example here. So what we have is a box that we have an ID of box one, and that's where the instant image preview is going to appear when they browse for an image on their computer. So we press the custom browse button or the custom add image button. Then we grab an image. And then after the image is placed into the box as an instant preview before it's uploaded, then the user gets the upload button. And when that's clicked, I just have an alert saying Ajax will upload the object file now. And the object can be uploaded via Ajax to your server after the user has previewed it and likes the way it looks. And at this point, before it's even uploaded to your server, you can allow them to manipulate the image as far as sizing and placement and whatever kind of things that you want to allow them to do in your application. Then if they happen to click add image again, an alert will say only one image is allowed. Okay, if you want to follow along, you can open up your favorite code editor and have yourself an example.html file, whatever you want to name it. And I'm starting with a style element and a script element, both empty. And I'll go down a couple of lines and then I'll put in my div, which is ID of box one. Now in the style element, I'm going to put in a couple of CSS rules for box one, make its width 500 pixels, minimum height 300 pixels, and the border. Then underneath that, I'm going to put another rule that will target any image element that's within box one and make its width 100%. So here's where you can put all the styling and CSS rules for the image that gets put into the preview box. And here you put all the rules for the box itself. If you want to add any more, take away. And in the HTML portion, we're going to go down a line and put in three more items. One is an input, which is going to be hidden by default, and it's a file type. It's the one that gives you the browse button for letting people browse for files on their computer for uploads. But in this case, I'm going to hide that one, and this is going to be just a little example of how to make a custom browse button or file upload button instead of having to be forced to use the default browse button. You can make a custom button for that. So that's why this one is set to hidden. Then underneath that is my custom button, which is going to have an on click event or click event in JavaScript. And we're going to run a function called choose file in JavaScript, which is pretty much just going to make this hidden input activate or run the click mechanism for that hidden file browser. Then underneath we have a button with an ID of upload button and when that's clicked we're gonna run a JavaScript function called upload. So for this upload button we don't want that to appear by default until there's an image previewed in the box. So in the CSS we're gonna add one more line and that's going to target the upload button and make its display none. So at this point this is what you should see in your document. And if I were to click add image, nothing's going to happen yet because we got to put in just a little bit of JavaScript. Now the rest of the code we're going to apply is going to be in this script element or wherever your scripting section is for your application. And the first function we'll put in place is this choose file function because when that button is clicked, which is our custom browse button, we want to make this hidden button above it fire off its click event. So in the script we'll add that function now. So we have function choose file and the main thing you want to see here is file one dot click. So we have an ID of file one here. 
the JavaScript, we're making it fire off its click event. And that will allow the user to browse their computer for files. You can see we're in the accept attribute of that HTML element. We're saying just images can be browsed for on their computer. Image slash all. Now within this choose file function, what we do before we fire off the click event for that hidden input, we're going to check to see if the box one inner HTML property includes this string image source equals because if it does include that string already we know that there's an Im image being previewed in that box already so I ran an alert that says only one image allowed and then we return false to stop the program from running so it won't run this click event if there happens to be an image inside the box already okay the next little function we're gonna need is this instant preview function you can see the parameter that we're setting for the instant preview function is this which is going to refer to this object this hidden input element so this represents this hidden input So let's put that function in place now so here we have function instant preview and we're scooping up the input element that we want in question and before that at the top of the script we're going to add a var for pick object that way the pick object can be global throughout the script okay so in the instant preview function the first thing we'll do is set the pick object variable to contain the actual object with his which is the image the input dot files and the zero represents the first element in the files array which is the image in question in the next line we say var preview variable is equal to document dot create element image element so we're creating an image element that we're going to sync into that box as a preview and this is all done before the image is uploaded and this is how we can show them a preview of what they're about to upload then for the preview variable we set its source attribute to URL dot create object URL of pick object which is the pick object the image preview then the next line we're going to append to box one the preview element the image so this line is where the image preview gets placed into box one and finally we say upload button dot style dot display equals inline instead of hidden like it is here the upload the custom upload button we have display none by default so here we change it to display inline so it's showing now finally since we have the upload button down here displaying inline now we'll have a function called upload which happens on the click event of that upload button and here is where you would upload the image or the file object to your server and you would use Ajax to do that and if you need tutorials for how to upload files via Ajax I have those on my channel you can search in the search bar on my channel for uh, Ajax upload the term Ajax upload and you'll see all the tutorials I have for Ajax upload with uh, some of them have uh, progress bars and some of them don't alright so now if we save this we should have the basic working example let's refresh click add image and we get the image we want and there's the upload button now appears we press upload Ajax will upload object file now okay so that's pretty much it now there's some occasions where you would want to give your users a preview of the image before they upload it there may be even occasions where you want to allow them to drag that image around within certain bounds inside of box one maybe if you were letting them set a cover photo or something like that where you want to allow them to size and drag the uh, their cover photo if it happens to be a giant photo they can put just the portion that they want showing on inside the box so there may be occasions where you want to give them a preview 
because I noticed that uh, most social sites will first upload the image to the server and then allow them to preview it and manipulate it. But there's a way that you can allow them to preview and manipulate before any files are even uploaded to your server. And this is the way you would do that. Now, of course, all the code is not in place to allow them to drag this image around or size it, scale it. Those are things you would have to put in place on your own. But I just wanted to show how you can do instant previews before an image is uploaded. So it's not even uploaded to the server yet, and they get to see it within your application. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you real soon.